Hey everybody, I uh, just want to do a quick video on our new Gator 835R cab unit. Um, we had a 835M non-cab unit and that was actually a 2021 and um, we decided to upgrade to the cab. Um, we have some acreage and horses and so forth that uh, my wife is always out working in the winter and in the cold and hot and rainy. So I thought it'd be nice to get the cab unit. So um, here it is right here. And it's a, that's a 2022 <clears throat> 835R. Um, for those of you who don't know the difference between the R and the M uh, on the cab unit, the um, 835R has a headliner and cloth seats and uh oh the cloth behind the seats also just for dampening and so forth we'll get inside in a little bit so this is uh this is what it looks like again it's 2022 i actually had a uh yellow and green one on order um, i didn't specifically order it but it was coming in for stock at a dealership and uh, I put my name on it back in January, and they said the delivery date was going to be February 26th, I believe. And uh, they kept on pushing it out and pushing it out, and finally it was uh, into May sometime that we were going to possibly get it. Uh, I was not looking for a camel. Um, but after I saw the camo in person, I just was out on the road uh, for my job and I happened to see it at another local dealer. And uh, being that it's so hard to get stock, I got a price on it and um, it was fairly reasonable. This one has um, some options that I didn't really want. Like I said, I didn't want the camo. Um, and it also has the front winch which i probably could have gotten at uh harbor freight or something for a, a tenth of the cost of that so um all in all uh so i got a little list here of what it was um camo is a 700 hundred dollar option uh with the camo you have to order black wheels and this one has the alloy um, Maxxis 27 inch Bighorn uh, that was $941 this one also has which I was going to get to begin with a spray-in bed liner and when the spray-in bed liner is installed or in that package you get the brake light and tail light package otherwise it just has a, a lens here with no brake lights which I think is ridiculous but anyways um, <clears throat> power lift on the um, box here there's a button inside that you press power lift it and brush guard usually uh, out of all the gators that I've seen the R model with the cab that come with uh, those three options the uh, bed liner tail light uh, package the power lift and the front bumper so um, just give you an idea on price. I don't know if many people talk about prices, but it's not the best time to buy one. Um, and there's not a lot of negotiation, but uh, so the camo was $700. The big horns were $941. Cargo liner with the brake light and tail light was $490. The lift, power lift, was $940. The brush guard up front is $486. And the winch was $948 crazy so uh retail this uh had a sticker 33875 <clears throat> i got it for 31 not, uh 31497 so i'm not sure that's the absolute best price you can get but that's the price i got and we really wanted it so um we got it um financing with deer is uh amazing they have a uh, four year 0% and a 1.9 for 60. And then, then uh, 
special or rare occurrences they have a 3.9 for 84 I uh, originally wanted that but uh, I got thinking about it that's a long time for a loan so I actually got the 1.9 for 60 months so um, let's take a look inside the cab is really nice nice and tight uh, it does have like a cloth it's almost like a cloth vinyl um, so I think it's gonna be warmer in the uh, winter than the plain old vinyl. Um, here's the power, power dump bed, headlights, uh, the four wheel drive, rear diff lock, washer and sprayer, and your gear shift lever. Uh, when you put it in park, it does apparently apl applies the uh, emergency brake or parking brake, I should say. Um, <clears throat> one thing I do like about this, we had a Polaris North Star uh, that was a two, I think it was a 2019, and um, it didn't have the defrost and the floor. I think it just came out the dash, but here on this one, you can adjust it for the floor, your uh, vent in the face, uh, your defrost, and then defrost and floor at once. Um, I'm not sure if you know about the Gators. Uh, this is considered a, a full-size three-seater. Um, cargo capacity is 1,000 pounds in the bed. Towing is 2,000 pounds. It's got the uh, Cherry three-cylinder engine, and that puts out supposedly about 54 horsepower. Um, it's not a powerhouse. You're not gonna go on uh, trail rides and keep up with the Razors and the uh, you know, even the Can-Am, uh, I think that one's the Defender. Um, top speed is about 45 miles an hour, but we just use it around our our horses and um, our, our uh, land. So let's go ahead and fire it up. I'll show you the dash. It's got a nice little dash in it. Like I said, I just got it 2.5 miles on it right now. Um, the only information you get is hours and, uh, or you get a trip, hours, and odometer. And then this one's just your brightness. There's some other options. If you hold this down, you can get into um, speed limiter. And if you put different size tires on it, you can adjust the tire size. Uh, so it calibrates the miles per hour. Um, and the glove box here, that's where your winch control is. And there's a plug in the back that has the, uh, you plug the winch into it. I wish it was a remote winch, uh, wireless for that kind of price, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, this seat here lifts up. Since I drive it just around our farm, I just keep this buckled all the time or you're only gonna go maybe five miles an hour, I believe. And on the other side, This seat opens up and has a nice storage compartment um, for beverages or whatever. It's got a drain plug down here if you get uh, water from your ice in there. And uh, another 12 volt outlet. And the doors actually are nice because they have the, um, oh, the shock absorber there to keep it held open and uh, assist it well so it doesn't uh, fly back on you. Roll down windows, another thing I, they probably should have done was uh, power windows, but um, I guess that's just more things to go wrong. And a cup holder, a little cubby holder there. Um, one thing I noticed on my other Gator uh, was the air intake is right here and your air filter is right here. Deer does make a snorkel kit for it. Um, I've heard of a lot of people getting dirt in here and having to clean out the air filter, replace it quite often. But that snorkel kit just is uh, one little snorkel that comes up here and dumps out up here, or actually the intake is up in here. Um, I'll probably end up getting it, although we don't do much trail riding at all or mud riding. But. Uh, Either way, we do a lot of dirt roads, and with this right here, with this little opening here, it seems like a lot of dirt would get in it. Underneath here, I'm not gonna take it off as your battery and uh, wash the fluid for your uh, sprayer. 
Uh, let's get a look under the bed here. Maybe we can take it for a quick little ride. So like I said, the power dump box right here. And this will lift to full capacity. We did have the uh, power lift on my 835M. And boy, I know I had that bed overloaded and it didn't have any problem at all lifting it. So that's the Cherry inline three cylinder. Very smooth running engine, super smooth. Um, it's quiet, although the exhaust is um, a little bit loud on it, uh, but the engine is actually really quiet. Uh, it's got a real alternator on it. It doesn't have the, I think the Polaris is call it a stator, but this has a, an actual alternator. Uh, air conditioning down in that area. Oil change is pretty simple on it. on these squeak they squeak and they squeak uh, over bumps I thought it uh, I thought they would have fixed it but they didn't um, on my 835m they replaced the shocks and then they just finally told me it was uh, normal so if you hear the squeaking that's what it is that's the shocks so um, my next thing is to get a radio which um, with our the, um, all the wiring comes in the dash. Um, when I installed turn signals on my other one, I had to buy a wiring harness to go out to the front and to come, come from your dash out to the front to go, go to the lighting. And then um, I had to buy two wiring harnesses actually. And the R unit has the wiring harnesses all through it. Uh, radios pre-wired, speakers are uh, already cut out. So that's my next thing that I'm definitely going to get. Um, so, like I said, there are no powerhouses, but I'll tell you what, they do uh, they do some pulling, and I never had any problems with the other one. So, uh, hopefully, other than the shocks. So hopefully this one gives me the same, uh, same uh, results as the other one. So we'll just go around. We'll take a ride out in the back, and we've got about 30... Oh, uh, it's close to 35 acres. Um, there's going to be a garden right there. Uh, like I said, we have horses. They're out here. And I love the dash. It's a very, very nice dash. Um, so, four wheel drive, you can um, put in, and I think it'll actually engage under 10 miles an hour, but you can flick it on. And uh, see it blinking there. You have to slow down. There, now it kicked in. And then the uh, rear diff lock that shows a little lock key, uh, key there or a lock there, showing that it is locked in. I'll just turn that off. I don't need it. Uh, wiper blade, and it's got the washer also, um, which is nice. Should have a washer. Uh, another thing I really like was the visors. And this one does actually come with a mirror. I had to put a mirror in my other one, so. Um, yeah, we're going a little bit here. It's a really nice and smooth ride, though. Uh, the shocks in the rear are set at the stiffest part, uh, and the front are like uh, two notches from the softest part. So. I'm going to keep it that way just because we do a lot of loading. Uh, there's a lot of horse manure that we move around and um, a lot of material around here. And it's a trail that we just made a couple years ago. Uh, my wife likes to uh, ride her horses around back in here. It's definitely a little swampy right now. So we'll. Uh, turn her around here and head back up there and hopefully it was sort of informative for you I'm uh, I'm no f photographer or anything but uh, hopefully it wasn't too bad of a, a video and somewhat informative um, I'm really happy with it though the heat's very nice I, I really missed it when we sold our Polaris and bought the open station um, uh, Gator 
last year. So definitely missed that. And the horses are all getting used to this now. I'm sure they'll be staring at me coming up because they don't, uh, the other one was a yellow and green one. So they're probably wondering uh, who's coming up. That's Lindy and Marquis. Marquis is the brown one. She's uh, close to 30 years old. That's Lindy. We just got her and her baby uh, a few months ago. And then there's our two old gals there. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. If you have any questions or anything, um, please feel free to comment. I'm not asking you to like and uh, subscribe because I really don't have a channel. <laughs> I've only got a few videos out, so uh, we'll maybe get some more coming out in the, in the near future, um, especially coming up to summertime. Uh, I've got a new tiller for my tractor that uh, I'd like to do a little bit of video on. and uh, I have a John Deere 2038R with a, a tiller and a couple other attachments. So. Maybe I'll do some videos on them and we'll go from there. So thanks for uh, watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, just shout out and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Take care.